so let's explore hive ql examples hive query language examples in this lesson and as we had discussed in the previous lesson that if i know as sql and if i if my supervisor wants me to switch to hive i can easily switch to hive because it is much familiar and much similar to the sql query language so let's have a small glimpse of uh, this uh, overall uh, hive ql language with an example so uh, it is a language which is used by apache hive and then uh, when uh, when we have defined the structure when we have defined the schema of tables and the relationship between them then we can use the hive ql language hive ql statement are very similar to standard sql one although <coughs> they do not strictly adhere to st sql standards so for example that they uh, the we have some sql standards and hive ql is not following those uh, uh, standards very much uh, strictly but it is uh, having that standards uh, as as the uh, focused area and then we can use this uh, uh, sql and the hive ql uh, in parallel so that we can take out all the things in a much easier way and in a much unified way so if i need to translate or if i need to move back or jump back to the hive ql i know sql i can go towards that so even without java or map to knowledge if user is familiar with sql so if if the if i do not know the java knowledge or the map reduce knowledge or the hadoop architecture knowledge i can write the customized sophisticated map reduce analysis on hive it is much simpler so this is the <coughs> example where we can see that that how much these queries are being similar to the sql query so we have select upper name unit price so on up name we have a name and this upper function will cap capitalize over all names so we have omar in small letter then now it will uh, capitalize every letter of omar as a capital word we have unit price from acme sales so this is the overall sql statement which we know so please go, this statement means that please go to this acme sales table and then have a upper name and unit price or we can have a name uh, please select name and the unit price uh, of all the rows so do not limit 200 or 200 rows select all the rows be it 1000 rows be it 10000 rows and so on please select those rows and print the output back to us and in the meanwhile convert this name like we have Nutella, so convert this Nutella which is in small letters, please convert into the upper case letter or capitalize them. So this is the overall scenario and this is the exact uh, SQL query which can be implemented in the Hive SQL example. Then we can have select category count one from product group by by category. So it means that we have a category and then uh, at, at every category uh, we need some product and then we uh, pr please print those products so with the help th these two queries can be implemented in sql and in hive and so for this this proves that if i know sql i can easily jump to the hive ql language so that i can have a uh, really uh, really good knowledge transfer so what does the apache spark and pi spark does so we have apache spark apache spark has scala java language but apache spark is so much familiar that it has produces or it has created an extension toward the python also so if i know python i can easily jump to the apache spark so it it has increased the popularity of apache spark because we do you don't need to learn any new text tag you don't need to learn any new things you just need you you have a prior knowledge and then please use that prior knowledge in our system so this hive ql is also giving that opportunity that if you have the prior knowledge of sql please you please use that prior knowledge of sql in our systems or in our tool so that you can extract data in a much easy way in a much map to do in a much distributed way in a much faster way and in a much, in a much uh, structured way so additionally hive uh, ql support extensions that are not in sql we have some we have uh, extension in sql 
Hive supports also that. But we have some other extension according to Hive which are not in SQL. So Hive is a big brother of SQL because it has supported some of the really cool uh, advanced functionalities or extension which support uh, which can make our life easier include create table and and multi table insert so we have some uh, if we need to have a multi if we need to have an insert I need to insert and then I need to add all the columns and the values in the SQL in the standard SQL and I have a, a if I need to add in many tables like a uh, so I need to query or I need to uh, write the query for every table but in hive we can use a multi table insert uh, functionality and all the table will be inserted within new rows so we have some uh, basic task which can hive can easily do this like create and manage tables and partitions uh, and support various relational, arithmetical, logical operators like arithmetic is plus, minus, multiply, divide. We have logical operators like uh, uh, relational operators that uh, equ equals to greater than or uh, uh, or lesser than. Or we have logical operators like uh, we can say that bool uh, is a, lo a logical operator, or uh, we can say that if else. So all these things are being implemented in HiveQL it uh, it can evaluate functions that if we have a function it will evaluate at it at uh, it at its own uh, backend language which will tell us that this function is being right enough that this function will do not create any error when we are deploying it and then it it can download the table contents uh, to a local repository so if i need to have a if i need to share to my supervisor and he do not have or if i need to share to the client and he do, he do not have any access to the hadoop architecture the hive ql i just need to download it in a local repository and i send it over the slack or the uh, uh, email email thread so with the help of these things uh, we can uh, we can also download Load the results of queries we have a HDFS uh, directory and then we can have we have run a query and that result is being downloaded into an HDFS directory so that we can use that result in later stages or we can use it uh, in the later run of any pipeline so this is the overall uh, structure a bit short introduction of HiveQL that it supports the SQL standard SQL and with the help of standard SQL and with the help of prior knowledge we can jump right towards the Hive QL and start exploring start uh, adding some really cool stuff uh, into into our overall uh, data engineering or data science pipelines